Google Search Console page indexing. How to fix excluded by no index tag. On the page indexing report, let's press on exclude by no index tag issues. Here, date ranges that Google has seen this problem. Let's press on an example URL. Let's press on inspect URL. So this is how you troubleshoot this problem. When you inspect the example URL, look at indexing allowed here. Here you'll see different things. In my example, here Search Console is saying, we cannot index that URL example because we are seeing no index detected in robots meta tag. So let's go back to look at a different example because at times you may see inspect URL and X robots header sent, can be sent. Here page is not indexed excluded by no index tag. Do not use request indexing until you remove that no index tag from the URLs you want Google to index. In this example, is indexing allowed? No. No index detected in xrobots tag HTTP header. So, what we can do, let's press test live URL and if your Search Console report is showing robots meta tag problem. Let's test live URL for that scenario as well. Because I'm covering two different angles. Because after you watch this video, there is no way in this known well that you cannot fix this. Here, for both examples, whether it's the robots meta tag, whether it is X robots tag, in these two different examples, the URL is not available to Google because Google is seeing no index. Basically, the website is saying for those URLs, it's saying no index, Google. You cannot place those URLs in your index. As long as Google sees that on the website pages, those URLs will never be in Google's index. Now, when we inspect the URL, let's press on view tested page for X robots tag header response. Here, press on more info and let's press on HTTP response. The example URL in this example, it can be seen. That means if someone wants to visit this URL, they can see it. And yet, here you can see the header response is sending this here. So in this example, that's the problem. Okay, so remember what we're looking at. Indexing is not allowed in this example because Google has seen this here. And that you can see from more info, HTTP response. When you analyze the report, that's the culprit there. So that must be removed. I'll show you troubleshooting insights for this scenario as well as the other one too. So, in this example, indexing allowed? No, because robots meta tag issue. Let's press view tested page. In this example, robots meta tags come from the source code of a web document. That means there is no index meta tag somewhere here. As you can see, that's what Google is seeing. Now, for this example URL, I need to remove that. Usually, plugins being used in my scenario, this Yoast gives me this option. Here, I've set that to no. So, for my example, it's perfectly okay. But let me press yes. So now let me view the source code. Look what will happen here. Let's press refresh. Actually, mine won't change because I'm controlling that through other means. 
sorry about that so my example but yours will be different so that's where you check if you're using plugins okay so you need to remove that no to yes as in you need to change i'll show you this so this has to be like so so that's what google must see if you want those urls to be in google's index that's for the meta tag example so you need to identify how that meta tag is generated and remove it from your own setup if the issue is related to x robots tag then you need to log into your web server web hosting server the usual places to check is the .htaccess file I'll show you a sample .htaccess file so this resides on website installation folder some content management systems don't allow you to edit this file well then you need to contact the support team of your web host another places website theme files they may send out header response codes which look like this here i'll zoom in so that you see okay so this is what that search console report was showing us for x robots tag no index example to fix it then you need to identify where that's seen on your website and remove it because then when next time you go search user agent comes to visit your website it's not going to see no index directive so this is how you fix page indexing problem for excluded by no index tag basically experiment with the example urls use inspect url tool you don't necessarily need to test ribos.txt tester because it's nothing to do with that file per se because ribos.txt is to do with controlling crawling of google if you want to control indexation you use no index directive when you inspect the url look at index the layout and find out how google is seeing this in my example it's a meta tag and then you test the live url to see where on the source code of the url that is generated if the issue is to do with where are we x robots tag then you once again test the live url and then look at the http response code and if you end up seeing x robots tag coming from the header response code here then it's to do with your web server as i've said look at dot htaccess file that's the usual file that may generate that or your website theme files may use php or other methods to send out x robots tag http response code okay so this is how you fix excluded by no index tag directive right excluded by no index tag errors shown in google search console if after watching this particular video session your website is still having problems or you're unsure please visit rank your website comment section to post your questions because i've created three four different video sessions trying to troubleshoot this problem for rank your followers and because websites can be set up using many many different ways on many many different content management systems best way to fix this is obviously follow the insights i've shown to you definitely check out the video session for xml sitemap best practices 
on Rank Your YouTube channel. Because here in my example, I have many problems for no index issues, right? But there is nothing for me to fix. I'll show you what that means. So here I'm looking at all known pages. I don't need to waste time with that. I just need to look at all submitted pages. And here I have no problems. As we can see, there is nothing for me to fix or validate. That's why submitting the correct sitemap should be your first thing to do in Search Console. But obviously, if all submitted pages are having problems, then you must identify how, as I've shown to you how, and then remove that no index directive. Once you do that, you can either press on validate fix or simply let Google do its work because next time when it tries to access your sitemap, it will you know, request the URL and index it by default. So you can either validate the fix or let a week or two pass. And when you remove the no index directive, Google will, in most cases, index the URL that was having the problem. I thank you for learning with Rankia. And while here, I've created a couple of brand new courses. Google Search Console Crash Course, that may be of interest to you. Free courses, such as free SEO training course for 2024, because Google is making major changes. Also, conversion rate optimization tutorials. That's a private course, but it's worth it for you if you want to increase website conversions. Once again, thank you for learning with Rankia, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.